you know, what are the, the what do they get? What are the gaps uh, there? Uh, hold on for a moment. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, I want to uh, first and foremost uh, just introduce myself. My name is uh, Tom Kilkenny. Uh, I've been a wealth manager for about 28 years. Uh, about two and a half years ago, I decided to uh, pump the brakes uh, and stop working with uh, some of the demanding clients and uh, have the great opportunity to work with some really wonderful librarians uh, like Doreen uh, at the San Francisco Public Library and provide patrons like yourself uh, a really great resource uh, in regards to not only financial literacy, uh, financial tools, but even our insurance tools as well. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd just like to uh, point out, uh, we're gonna have a q and I'm gonna go through uh, the entire uh, presentation. And at the end, you know, we'll leave it open uh, for you know, Q&A for you know, 10 to 20 minutes, however long it takes to uh, try to answer as many questions as possible. Um, if I don't have the answers to your questions, uh, my promise to you is I will get the right answer for you and I will report that back to Doreen so that you get those questions answered for you. Um, so uh, this is a Medicare supplement insurance and how to pick the right plan and, and get the best rate. We'll share a few Medigap secrets that might save you a bunch of money too. Medigap pricing tool and insurance ratings, it's brought to you by Weiss Financial Ratings and Gray House Publishing. We're independent, unbiased, and accurate. And that's what we strive for. Weiss Financial Ratings is not uh, owned by uh, any uh, subsidiary. There are no conflicts of interest. So that is where you get the true independent, unbiased, and we get the most accurate information as possible. You'll see at the end, we'll give you some uh, pricing and I'm sure Doreen will uh, certainly go over the pricing tool with you at the very end as well. And you'll see based upon whether you're preferred standard or substandard rating, uh, even when you uh, call the insurance company, which we also provide the numbers for you here, um, as long as you hit that standard level and you look at the standard uh, quote, uh, the chances are you're probably gonna be within a dollar or two. So it's, uh, it's very accurate. The Medicare and Medigap discussion is designed to help you navigate through the Medicare maze. Uh, primary goal is to Excuse tell me. I'm you. Sorry, Tom. It uh -huh. looks like your your slides are not advancing. It, we're viewing slide number nine, um, and I don't know if you're you're back a few slides. So. No, I'm. I can see that you're sharing your screen. So. Yes, but but you're not seeing the actual slide. It's not advancing. Yeah, I can hear you clicking your keyboard, but we're stuck on slide number nine. All right, we're not anywhere near slide number nine, and I apologize for that. Um, Sorry to interrupt. No, that's okay. I mean, the, the most important thing is is to give you exactly, uh, let's see. Can it, Does it say Medigap pricing tool and insurance ratings? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, okay. now we can see it. All right. Thank you. I apologize. There's three that are up there. So the Medicare and Medigap discussion is designed to help you navigate through the Medicare maze. Our primary goal is to tell you about choices that you have available to you and help you save as much money as possible. At the end of the talk, you'll be able to download your own customizable uh, Medigap report that can help you find and select the best Medicare supplement insurance policy for you and with the strongest companies for the least amount of money. And you can do it for free with your San Francisco Public Library card. Here's what we'll cover. Major expenses Medicare does not cover. When is open enrollment and what does that mean to you? Why Medigap can be better than Medicare Advantage. How to get lower premiums and save hundreds, even thousands of dollars. When can you join Medicare? Typically, it's seven month initial enrollment period. It starts three months before your 65th birthday. 
the month of your 65th birthday or three months after your 65th birthday. The open enrollment period is October 15th to December 7th. Still working and covered by insurance, Medicare can supplement your employer coverage as well. That's a note that you may want to make. Also know that uh, these slides uh, will also be provided and available to you uh, through the San Francisco Public Library. So if there's something that you've missed, uh, you'll certainly have access to these slides uh, after the presentation. When can you change your plan or your insurer? If you have Medigap plan now, you wanna change your plan or your insurer, you can do so during the open enrollment period each year, October 15th to December 7th. Your coverage will start January 1st. Understanding Medicare coverage. You have Medicare Part A, which is your hospital insurance. You have Medicare Part B, which is your, medic your medical insurance. You have your Medicare Part C, which is the Medicare Advantage plan. And then you have your Medicare Part D, which is the prescription drug coverage. Medicare Part A covers hospital-related services and emergency care. That includes inpatient hospitalization, home health services, skilled nursing services, hospice. Medicare Part A does not cover all of your hospital costs and it does not cover long-term care. Medicare Part B, it covers your regular medical care and helps with outpatient services. That includes doctor office visits, laboratory services, ambulance, and diagnostic services. So you might think you're totally covered when it comes to Medicare. Medicare does not cover all of the costs associated with hospital and medical insurance, and it does not include prescription drug coverage. Medicare out-of-pocket costs for 2022. So part A, the, the hospital deductible, Medicare will not kick in until after the first $1,556 is paid. And that's days one through 60. Now the part A hospitalization, days 61 through 90, the benefits do not kick in until after the first $389 is covered by the patient, and then Medicare takes care of the rest. On a Part A hospitalization, days 91 through 150, they'll cover anything over the first $778. So it's a lot of money. So it's really important uh, that if we're going to spend any amount of time in a hospital that we understand what it is we're going to be responsible for and what Medicare will actually kick in and pay afterwards. The Part B annual deductible is $233 a year. The Part B monthly premium in Medicare is $170.10. Again, it depends on your income. It's income adjusted. Most outpatient services and medical supplies are 20% of the total amount that Medicare approves. Skilled nursing facility care days 21 through 100 are $185.50 per day. And skilled nursing facility care after 100 days, that'll, they'll cover the at 100%. So there's a lot of expenses uh, that you'll have to pay with Medicare if you need to spend any sort of uh, significant time in a hospital. Other hidden costs of Medicare, and none of these are covered. Prescription drugs, vision, emergency care ab abroad, if any of you decide that you might want to travel to different countries throughout your retirement, dental insurance, and hearing aids. Those are five areas that Medicare does not cover. You have choices 
and individual needs will vary. When Medicare was established in 1967, it was never meant to cover all of your medical care for your senior years. It was intended to cover only the most basic of needs. You have choices in regards to your health care. You can stick with a Medicare Part A and Part B, or you can purchase additional coverage. You can make this decision based on your unique health care needs. There are two choices to fill a gap. The first is the Medicare Advantage Part C, and the second is the Medicare Supplemental Insurance Medigap that we'll also talk in depth today. Medicare Advantage Part C. Coverage is provided by a private insurance and is limited to a defined network of doctors and providers. It combines Part A hospital insurance, Part B medic medical care, and oftentimes Part D prescription drugs. Medicare Supplement Insurance, which we deem Medigap, covers deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance. It's designed to fill in the gaps that Medicare Part A and Part B does not cover. Medigap versus Medicare Advantage. Original Medicare and Medicare Supplement. Typical higher premiums, but no co-pays. You have the freedom to choose your doctors. No referrals are necessary. Some routine services are not covered like vision and hearing. Those are not covered uh, for the most part in the Medigap uh, supplemental insurance. And you're covered anywhere in the US and six plans offer coverage abroad if you decide that you do extensive traveling overseas. The Medicare Advantage plan generally lower premiums, but it does have co-pays. It may be restricted to a network of doctors. You may need referrals for specialists, and it may include the extra benefits like vision, hearing, and fitness. Outside of your service area, you're limited to emergency services only. <clears throat> Secret number one. Medigap plans offer identical coverage. 10 Medigap plans. There are currently 10 Medigap plans, each known by a letter A to N, and two plans F and G. Each have an additional high deductible option. For every lettered plan, every insurer that offers the plan provides the same exact benefit. The plans are actually regulated by the government. So the coverage within each letter plan is the same, regardless of whichever insurer you choose. That means all plan A's have the same exact coverages. All plan B's are the same, all plan F's are the same, and all plan G's are the same, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can pick the plan that has the coverage that you want. You can compare one insurer to another, and you can pick the plan that has the best rate. Questions to ask yourself when picking a Medigap plan. What is your income? Using a customized Medigap report, you can shop for a Medigap plan that has the most benefits that will fit within your budget. Do you think you'll want or need nursing care? Look at your family's medical history. If your parents or grandparents needed nursing care, you may want and may also need similar care in the future. Do you travel a lot overseas? If so, you can get the coverage for emergency care in foreign countries with Plan C through Plan G, M, and N. Deciding between Medigap plans. Paying a higher premium for more comprehensive coverage or pay less for your premium and potentially pay a little more out of pocket. Here's some scenarios here on what's covered plans through A through N. Uh, as you can see, uh, plan F and plan G are the most comprehensive. That's where you see the most red checked off marks in regards to the services that are provided. But they typically also come with the uh, highest uh, premium as well. But again, it's the most comprehensive coverage. Uh, 
I always use this as a, a precursor. Unfortunately, um, you know, my mom passed away last year to cardiovascular disease. And this past summer, well, my father had a little piece of melanoma removed from his forehead. So for me and my family medical uh, history, um, I'm over for two. So I really probably need to get a more comprehensive plan when I hit the age of 65 because my family medical history is not the strongest. Again, you'll see that in a plan A, uh, as we go on, uh, the coverages are all the same, regardless of the insurance company that you select, and that's government mandated. So you'll see here the least expensive premium, age 65 year old female in San Francisco. Uh, plan A is 1109, plan B is 1828, plan C is 2030, Plan D, 1463. Now, Plan F is no longer available if you, are, if you don't currently have Plan F. Plan F was discontinued and you need to be grandfathered into Plan F. The alternative to the Plan F is the Plan G. And the Plan G is $1,416. But as you can see, the services and coverages are exactly uh, the same. <laughs> Secret number two, Medigap plans are standard, but the rates are not. So again, when we talked about the services being provided uh, equally in plan A, plan B, plan C, or plan F or plan G, um, it doesn't matter what insurance company you do business with, the services are the same across the board. The one thing that government has not been able to mandate is the money. Insurance premiums can vary thousands of dollars a year for the exact same coverage. A female age 65 living in San Francisco, California. Plan G's highest premium is $2,785. Plan G's lowest premium, as we saw on the graph prior, is $1,416. That's a savings of $1,369. Now a male age 68 living in San Francisco, California, the plan A highest premium is $3,097. And the plan A lowest premium is $1,109. It's a savings of $1,988. Now, another thing that I'd like to point out that's not on this uh, PowerPoint presentation is your average individual uh, lives using supplemental um, Medigap insurance 10 years. Now, if everything stayed stagnant, we're talking about a savings of almost $20,000 in your retirement years for 10 years. That's the price of a small compact car, brand new. Now a couple age 65 and 68 living in San Francisco, California, plan G highest premium is $7,974. Plan G's lowest premium is $2,400. Now this is a couple that's ready to save $5,574. Now, if this couple lives uh, 10 years in using the supplemental insurance, um, you're talking about a savings of almost 55000 It's a lot of money. How safe is your insurer? Not all insurance companies are created equal. Why safety ratings? A is considered excellent. B is considered good. C is fair and D is weak, E is very weak. Secret number three, safer insurers are not necessarily the most expensive. Higher premiums don't mean you're going to get coverage from a stronger, more financial stable insurance provider. You're gonna see on some of these rates that some of the most prominent insurance companies actually are a lot cheaper 
uh, than some of the more obscure insurance companies, and especially companies that don't come with the strongest safety ratings. Secret number four is you can make the choice. More coverage for less, reduce your premium, balance the financial safety of your insurer with your choice of the plan, and the four secrets, I will go over them again. Medigap plans offer identical coverage. Medigap plans are standard, but the rates are not. Safer insurers are not necessarily more expensive. That's factual. And you can make the choice. Vice Financial Ratings Medigap Report helps you make the right choice for you in your specific situation. You can pick the right coverage. You can pick the lowest rate. You can save valuable time and money. And you can pick the best and most affordable plan from all available providers customized just for you. And you get it all for free with your library card because library subscribers uh, subscribes to this helpful tool. And that's the San Francisco Public Library System. They offer this uh, for their patrons for free. Some common questions. Eligibility for Plan C and F. If you are eligible for Medicare after January 1st, 2020, Plan C and Plan F and High Deductible Plan F will not be available to you. Remember I had made mention that you have to be grandfathered in. If you are eligible for Medicare before January 1st, 2020, you can continue to enroll in Plan C and Plan F and high deductible plan F. Consider plan B instead of plan C or plan G instead of plan F. The only difference is your $233 part B deductible that you'll pay. And that's also another reason if you take a look, plan F is a little more expensive than plan G. It almost evens itself out. The solution offered by Weiss Ratings Customized Medigap Report is to help you find and select the best Medigap policy for you with the strongest companies for the least amount of money. Naturally, every person's situation is unique. So if you have more questions, we urge you, one, first and foremost, talk to your doctor about your future health care needs and make sure that the plan that you are selecting will give you the coverage that you need. Two, Talk to the insurance company that you've selected. Make sure your specific questions are, are all answered. And number three, you can also talk to a SHIP. And those are the uh, state health insurance assistance program counselors that many libraries uh, bring in to get personalized one-on-one -on -one Medicare counseling uh, over the phone or even in person to help you further. You can load it, locate a SHIP counselor in your area by visiting the website, uh, which we have listed in the link there below which is the uh, SHIP uh, TA Center org, and click and or find the local Medicare help. How to get your own Medigap report. Go to San Francisco Public Library website, which is uh, sfpl.org. Click on the research and learning button. Select all databases. Click the W section that's going to bring you to Weiss Financial Ratings. Enter your library card and PIN if you're connecting from home. Click on the Medigap tab, that's the gray bar on the right-hand side. Simply enter your information and download your report. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, Doreen. I'm going to ask some questions in a few moments, uh, but one of the things that uh, I did want to bring uh, to your attention um, is once you go in there, we don't collect your information for any reason, and you'll see the, the little di disclaimer at the bottom. You can simply go ahead and you can put your initials in. And if you don't want to receive a copy of the report, and I do have to say that function at this point point in time uh, has not been working properly over the last week and I don't have an ETA on that. However, you can still pull up the report and view the report. Um, 
But the three most important things that you must put in is one, you need to put your age in there because obviously the older we get, the more brittle we get. And you know we need more uh, medical services as we get a little older. So the premiums are typically a little higher. The second is uh, gender. Very important for us gentlemen, uh, the, the ladies uh, you make out, because females typically live longer than males, and most of the time they're more financially fit than we are, so they pay lower premiums. And obviously, uh, normally with a lot of the libraries that I speak to, uh, I always say that the, uh, the fees that doctors charge in the metropolitan New York area are a lot different than ours, but you're in San Francisco, so we're probably right on par with one another with what the physicians are charging us. So. Uh, that's all going to dictate um, what type of premium that we're going to pay. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to turn it over to Doreen. And, uh, and okay. I know that there's, there's a bunch of questions there, and I have a tough time reading them. So if Doreen maybe wants to read uh, some of those, uh, that would be fantastic. And I'll try to answer the most of them to the best of my ability. Okay. Um, so I think I'll start by quickly doing a, a little demo and, um, and then we'll go to the questions. So let me just, um, let's see here. So I'm just going to open up a browser window here. I'll just give me a second. And this is such a great, easy tool to use. It should take you no more than 30 seconds to pull up your own personalized report. I highly urge all of you at some point today to go ahead and, and pull up your own report and, and take a look. Okay, and someone did ask in the chat about the pathway. So I'll, I'll go over that right now and I'll um, include it in the follow-up email too. So here I am at the library's homepage, sfpl.org. And then I click on research and learn and then articles and databases. And then we have this A to Z list and I'm gonna click W, take us straight to all the, the databases that start with W, otherwise you'll be scrolling through that list all day. So this is the quick way to get there. So there's Weiss ratings, click on that. And it's prompting me for a library card number. So this is, a, um, this is our department's account that in really quick. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. And it's really easy to get the report. You click on Medigap, which is in the upper right-hand corner. And then I'm going to put in Okay, um, the minimum away, age is, sorry, what? Don't give away your age, Doreen. I, this is not my real age. <laughs> That's the lowest age you can put is 65. Um, okay, gender and zip code. I'm putting the zip code of the main library. So that's uh, Civic Center, San Francisco. So it's got my age, it's got my gender, it's got my zip code. And those are the three bits of information it, they really need. Then you click get report, it takes a minute or two. <clears throat> now remember it's, it's compiling all of the insurance companies that are available in your zip code and it's actually pulling exact uh, quotations uh, for those particular insurance companies, not only on the annual premiums, uh, but many of them show the monthly premiums as well. Yeah, and it's substantial. I mean, I did it yesterday and it was almost 60 pages. So there we go. So um, for now, disregard that just because they're fixing that function, but we're gonna view the report, which is gonna be in PDF format. You can download it, print it, email it to yourself, save it on your computer. And look at that. 
Uh, so it's this is a report for a 65 year old female in San Francisco in the zip code. And you can see on the left hand side of my screen, this is a 58 page report. And if we just click into some of this, I mean, you can see all the different companies it's comparing. So if, if Doreen, would you mind if, if I took over for just a moment? Sure, go ahead. Okay. So what I want to do is I click right on here. Um, well, you, oh yeah, uh, tell me what uh, to click on. I'll get there. Okay, so right, uh, I'm circling it uh, right next to the, uh, the the table of content to the left. Okay. So yeah, so go all the way to the left. Uh, nope, to the left. There's a, a oh, little box. Yep, underneath there, that little uh, table of content. Click on that, and then click on the uh, the arrow to the Medigap report, and then click on each arrow. To open all of those up okay and so here uh, you can pretty much open up the report so scroll up and you can click on what does medicare cover uh, right underneath there there you go and if you scroll down from there um, you know if you go on to the actual report itself and scroll down the report oh yep there you go let's just scroll down you can use your mouse and that gives you pretty much everything of every service and what Medicare actually covers, what we're responsible to cover, what are some of the gaps and it, it gets pretty uh, inclusive uh, even to uh, you know some obscures like uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm screening. I mean it, it really goes over in detail a lot of different screenings um, and it, it lets you know exactly what you're responsible for and what Medicare will actually take care of. Um, now for me, I know I had made mention, I'm not a 65 year old female, but I had made mention that my past medical history, my past uh, family medical history has not been very strong. So because I would be enrolling after January 1st, 2020, and I wanted the most comprehensive coverage, I would probably go with a plan G. So if Doreen goes over to the table of content and clicks on plan G and then goes back over to the report and scrolls down, now right there, all now right off the bat, you know, one company that stands out, USAA Life Insurance Company, it's a safety rating of A, $1,510, and it's got a monthly premium of just $123. Now, I don't know if anybody remembers uh, back in the day, uh, in the 70s and 80s, we had all the game shows that, that came on uh, and we had, you know, Tom Selleck selling the reverse mortgages and uh, Pat Sajak was selling the Colonial Pen Supplemental Health uh, Insurance. Um, so right off the bat, you know, people are watching TV, they're jotting down the numbers uh, and they're going ahead. And if we scroll down and we want to look for the Colonial Pen, Okay, uh, keep going, one more page, one more page. What, wait, scroll. But there it is right there, Colonial Pen Standard is at D minus, and that's $2,226 and $191. So that's almost a $1,000 savings right there. And, and really almost $80 on a monthly savings. I mean, that's a utility bill for many of our seniors. Um, and that just really goes to show that, you know, you think you're online and you're watching TV and they're, they're pitching you a, a great company. And it's not like the Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company is a bad company. Mm -hmm. But obviously we see that their uh, safety rating is a D plus, And yet we can go ahead and get an A rated safety rated company, uh, the likes of USAA, and, and pay a fraction of what that is. And USAA, as you can see, uh, isn't even at the, the top of the list there. You know, you have uh, Blue Shield of California, which is $14, $118 a month. So again, you really have a great opportunity to go in on an annual basis to the San Francisco Public Library System, go through Weiss financial ratings, because you never know. Um, next year, USAA may go up 10%. And you may want to shop for a different provider. You may go in and you may find out that maybe Blue Shield of California is less expensive. Maybe they didn't raise the rates. Uh, hold on, I've got a lot of questions. Uh, 
no, uh, USAA is not limited to militaries and their families. If, uh, if you live in a community, um, you can certainly do business with USAA. Should we um, go look at the chat questions? Are you ready? Yeah, let's go ahead. And I think at that point, we might want to uh, pause the, the tape, the recording, because uh, okay. we don't want anybody's personal information out there for the rest of San Francisco to hear. Okay, so let me just, first I'm going to stop the share, and then...